Hi guys, so I decided that I wanted to sort of <laughs> vlog a little bit, mark these next few days because it's very exciting to have Diablo 2 Resurrected coming out. So I have definitely been anticipating this for the past few weeks and uh, these past few days have been torturous. I may have made the mistake in the sense that I may have taken away some of my enjoyment of launch day because I plan on making a Blizzard Sorceress, which is very, very typical, okay? Because Blizzard Sorceress or I think Firewall, I'm not sure what other types, Frozen or Blizzard, whichever, they're very popular for magic find builds, which is what you create when you want a character to help you farm items. Um, I don't know for certain, I think magic find means there's a higher chance of better items dropping, I believe, or it's a higher chance of unique items dropping. I don't know the exact definition, but anyways, I intend to create this character first, that way I can farm gear, and then my second character I would like to create an Amazon. So I did take um, tomorrow and Friday off, today's Wednesday, morning. Uh, I just finished my stand-up, so I feel like today is actually going to be a very, very low-key day for me. I don't have any tasks to do. Um, ever since I started, I've been assigned three tasks, and I've pretty much finished all of them. They're actually coding-related ones, and now I'm still doing a bit more training, so I'm probably going to be focusing on that all day, but I still feel like there will be a lot of downtime for me, which is actually kind of nice to have it be chill like that before I have my two vacation days. So I'm doing some chores, like I put my sheets in the wash, um, I ordered some groceries because I want some fruit and um, I want some dumplings, I want some carrots that I can eat with ranch that I can eat some healthy food, healthy snacks while I play. I kind of do intend to be a hermit the next few days. Um, I am tempted to get some DTF, that way I can have some like really delicious meal food to eat in between, but I will have to figure out when I feel motivated to do that because I have to drop my car off at the dealership soon, uh, in like two hours at 11.45. I kind of want to drop it off sooner, like now. I should have done it for now, but um, oh well. Oh yeah, and I realized that I haven't shown my workstation ever since I received my monitor. So it definitely looks and feels much different than uh, just working on a laptop and looking down all the time. That's something I really noticed that I didn't think of before because I haven't actually, well, I lied. I did work off a laptop at my last job for over a year, but I always had it in my lap sitting on the couch, but that was also very, very uncomfortable for me and I hated it and I have no idea how I managed that this whole time. So this light I pulled out of storage because I don't have a light source here, so when I'm using my webcam for some of my meetings, my face is not really illuminated. Milo? Wow. Look at that freaking tail, it's so fluffy, holy crap. Those wires I need to fix, um, just to keep it more organized. I was taping it behind the leg right there. You can see some tape, and <laughs> the reason I was doing that was because and the reason I took it apart just temporarily is because I had this really weird issue the other day where my fucking laptop wasn't charging. It kept saying slow charging, he was like, ugh, use the freaking charger that came with your laptop, and I was like, I am. But anyways, it drained, the battery like drained all the way down. I had to plug it into my bedroom, and it was charging there, so I was just like, what the fuck is going on? Before I left for Vegas, it was charging here just fine but now it's charging normally again. I have no idea, I changed nothing. Time just passed, that's it. So this 4K monitor I requested from my manager. So I didn't actually want dual screen. I know dual screen might actually be more convenient because then I can have two fully expanded windows on each and then I can look back and forth. But I wasn't sure I had the space for a 220 inch that would conveniently fit on this desk because of the size, so the 4K works fine just now. Um, I love this keyboard. Honestly, I love typing on it way more than my main one that I'm using. The only reason I'm using that one is because it's beautiful and white, but it's not really white anymore. It's so fucking dirty. Ugh. So like I mentioned in my, uh, whenever I unboxed my laptop, 
I do find it very annoying because all this laptop has are USB-C ports, so I had that adapter over there come with it. So that has an HDMI and a USB, but then I needed to buy another adapter that had more USB ports because all of my peripherals are USB, the webcam, my, lab, uh, my keyboard, my mouse is uh, USB-C, is plugged in right there. But I have enjoyed working here, actually. It feels really nice and it's comfortable, feels like a proper workstation. I also write here, so when I'm done, I move this up there, I move my mouse away and I just sit here and write. Um, and uh, I have been using my AirPods for earbuds and headphones, although I'm assuming the headphone part doesn't, oh, sorry, I am assuming the mic part for the AirPods doesn't work very well based on proximity. I'm not sure because if I sit back and I have my one-on-ones with my lead, sometimes he tells me that I'm breaking in and out and that's kind of annoying because I don't really feel like, I mean, I can request the mic if I wanted to, but I don't know, just having, using AirPods only feels very clean, no wires or anything, no, nothing else on my desk. I don't feel like wearing headphones. If I had an external mic, I don't, you know, it's an extra thing on my desk. So um, <laughs> every time he tells me that, I kind of like sit forward and it feels like we don't have that issue anymore. So if that's the case, I might just end up like shifting my laptop further closer to me. That way um, it's less further away from me and maybe the connection will be stronger. Someone please tell me if that logic is wrong because that's what I'm thinking right now. Goodness, that journey to get my car and to pick up my food took so long. Um, so I walked to the dealership because it's very close by and it took them like 20 minutes to get me paid and out the door which is really annoying, but I did save because they fucked up on the pricing. And then I had to drive all the way over to pick up my food, which is about 20 minutes one way. And then on the way back, I hit a lot of traffic, but I'm so relieved to be home because I'm starving, I'm hungry. This guy's just having a lot of struggles cleaning himself. <laughs> oh, you're a funny one. Anyways, I am going to finish eating. I'm watching The Mighty right now with Sharon Stone and Karen Culkin. And then I want to take her out for a walk when it's cooler. It's been pretty hot today. Hello, good morning. It is 6 a.m. September 23rd, and I have been awake since 3 a.m. I went to bed around 10 o'clock. It took me a while to fall asleep. Then I woke up and tried to go back to sleep for a while. Then I was bad and I went on my phone. And then by 5 a.m. I was like, you know what, I don't think there's any chance that I'm gonna fall back asleep, so I'm just gonna get up, uh, browse the internet for a while, then I just decided to take a shower now, feel refreshed. I'm still waiting for the sun to come up, but I am thinking I will walk Riley, um, get some breakfast, and just prepare myself for lunch. Let's really hope it goes smoothly. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I mean, if it doesn't go smoothly, that's kind of to be expected, but um, I'm waiting eagerly. Still got two hours. It's probably too cold to go for a walk and far too dark. So right now <clears throat> it is 10.40 a.m. And I'd say the game started working at around like 8.03 to 4 for me. I needed to exit out of Battle.net completely and then reopen it because the play button was still grayed out. Um, honestly, ever since I got in, I created one game and I've been playing consistently until about 10 a.m. where it kicked me out and then I couldn't create another game. I checked Twitter. They said that they were going to do 30 minute maintenance because people weren't able to create games and they also weren't able to see their characters. So I think I got lucky because I've been playing consistently for those two hours. So right now I'm in act two. Um, I'm heading over to the maggot lair in um, our oasis and I took Riley for a very short walk just earlier because of this break but it is fairly hot outside so I didn't want to do it too long actually I could probably fetch with her but we just walked she's probably pretty tired actually we've already done two walks this was a short one I did a long one earlier but um, I have some dumplings wontons and I'm trying to chug my water and I'm gonna probably stand up and stretch a little bit while it's not working. It is 6.30 right now on Thursday and the servers are not working right now. So 
I just got back from my walk with Riley. I took a break. I wanted to go outside, get some sunlight and the last amount of daylight and it was so nice. I was in such a good mood walking with her and then I went to pick up some bubble tea. Then we came home, played some fetch in the backyard. I watered my plumerias and now I'm inside and I fucking love living here. But anyways, yeah, servers are down so I am in the middle of watching Old by M. Night Shyamalan. Don't think I'll like it, but I'm like 40 minutes in so I'll finish it, but yeah, uh, eager to play again. Hopefully it's up and running soon. Wow, okay, I am very surprised because first off, I decided to order some motorcycle pants because every time I want to go riding, I have this really annoyed feeling. Wow, looks like it's going to rain outside. Anyways, I have this really annoyed feeling because the current pants that I have, I don't find them comfortable whatsoever. And that just discourages me from wanting to go riding. So I was thinking, that's it. I'm going to, hold on, I have to, let me see what's going on down here. Okay. So <laughs> the knee pad, the inside, sometimes I find that uncomfortable on my knees. But anyways, I was just thinking, all right, I need to really buy myself a pair of motorcycle pants that suit me. And if I have, you know, all the gear that I enjoy wearing that are comfortable, then there should be no reason I feel discouraged to go riding. So I wanted to try out a new pair. So these are Alpine Stars. Um, I'm just actually very surprised because I ordered two sizes. I ordered a small and I ordered a medium. And today an extra box arrived and this whole time, this pair, I received about two to three days ago. So I tried it on and I wanted to wait until the other one arrived to compare it. So I thought this one was a small the whole time, but it's actually the medium because when I opened the package and I saw that they sent me a small, I was thinking, wow, did they send me the same size twice? But no, this is the medium. And if this feels reasonably comfortable, then I'm not even gonna bother trying the small because I can only imagine how it's going to feel. Actually here. I will try it, but I don't feel like it will end on good terms. But um, these aren't bad, so I don't tend to like. I don't tend to like how I can feel the knee pad on my knee. I was hoping there would be enough material in between where I don't feel that hardness on my knee, but unfortunately, with this pair, you do. So. The main thing that I like though is that putting on this pair and taking them off is way easier than my other pair and I'm assuming that's just because I bought the other pair a little bit too small. See, the problem is I've always viewed myself as a very small person and I am. I'm 5 foot 3, I am like 105 pounds or something like that and because of that I have always automatically purchased extra small or small, the smallest size available. And when it comes to motorcycle clothing, I've realized that I can't do that. Or actually just any clothing in general. I can't do that because I end up with stuff that's too tight and uncomfortable and I should have sized up. So this just surprises me to think that there are people smaller than me that would be wearing an extra small or a small for these pants. So I'm going to try on the small, but if I have difficulty getting it on my body, I'm not even going to bother with it. All right, I can definitely tell that this small is certainly more form-fitting. So I would say in the past, I would think that this is the right size for me because I can tell that it squeezes my kneecap area a little bit more firmly and also this waist area. It's completely like really fitted around my waist. But honestly, I don't like that fitted feeling on my waist because I feel like from long duration wear, you start to feel uncomfortable from that pressure on this area of your body. And trust me, since I wear a lot of active wear, I've also learned that I really, really hate how leggings, because they're meant to be form-fitting, right? So I've had this dilemma with women's fashion for the past few years of my life because I want to make my lifestyle totally about comfort when it comes to what I wear, whether it's shoes or clothes, right? But I've realized that a lot of the active wear that I've been wearing for the past few years, a lot of those pieces are actually not comfortable because the leggings that I wear, they squeeze your body because they're meant to make you look good. 
but that's fucking uncomfortable. Like the leggings would like be tight around here, or like those the sports bras would also be tight, and it's just like, ugh, I don't want anything squeezing my body anymore. So in the past, I would probably keep this, but I am definitely not. I'm gonna try the medium again just to compare like how this area feels, but I'm quite sure I will keep the medium. So yeah, anyways, right now it is Friday and I have not played much Diablo at all. I played for about 20 minutes around 8.30 in the morning and then I wanted to exit and recreate a game because I'm farming Nightmare right now, which means that you kill bosses, you loot, and then you recreate it so you can kill them again and do it over and over again. But I wasn't able to create another game and then I think my attempt to create a game locked my character out of like put it in limbo you know something was wrong on their server side so when i tried to create a game it must have registered as my game being created which made my character appear to be in a game so every time i try to create a game right now it says my character is already in a game and it's been like that for hours so um eh, i mean that does kind of make you feel bad because you're like oh i took a day off to play diablo i'm not even playing diablo but you know what, it's fine. I'll just enjoy the free time that I'm having today. And um, yeah, <laughs> there are other things that I can do, so no worries.